and welcome to another episode of Naomi the G. On today's episode, I decided to do my pre-shuffle on camera. I usually do it off camera, but today I feel like, I just feel the spirit of um, just doing exactly what I am told. So I feel like it's going to be very spontaneous for sure. And um, we just gonna go ahead and hop right on in. So Taurus, this video is definitely for you. I have to make sure I'm saying it right in the beginning because even though I'm reading for, I know to be Taurus, I might end up saying some other um, zodiac sign and I don't wanna confuse my viewers. So we are doing this for the energy of you beautiful Taurus people. And I had to light my Palo Santo so we can get into the spirit. Praise his holy name. All right, so what do you have for me to give my Taurus viewers? All right, you guys, I feel like right now you could be feeling alone and you could be feeling like, you know, you just been going that life by yourself. And it's like right now you feeling like, you know, I it's just me. I'm just in this world um, by myself trying to find my inner light. You probably are really working on yourself. And I feel like you guys are. And, you know, you could be long alone, but not not lonely you could be feeling alone like you probably don't have many people that you could reach out to or talk to right now at this time but spirit is letting me know like you have plenty you have everything you need around you so maybe or perhaps you should reach out to the people that are around you um you could be feeling this, this way because you probably aren't seeing exactly what it is um spirit is trying to bless you with you could be feeling like you need to teach or you probably need to get under somebody that can teach you um some things that's probably more spiritual i feel like spiritually you guys need to grow a little bit more and that'll help you balance your um this feeling of loneliness okay i feel like you guys need to step out of the material world a little bit and get more into the spiritual realm and that can help you from feeling hopeless and helpless um, cause you do have people around you. The spirit says that you have lots of people around you and the people that are around you are people who are meant to teach you something. Okay. So there's lessons to be learned, obviously, if you, they're meant to teach you something and you just really need to rely on these people at this time because they are going to, um, they're going to help you a great deal, my loves. And I feel like as long as you go within, everything that you need is already inside of you. You're not alone. You have plenty of people around you. You need to find some type of balance. You got to find, and then it's like you probably have a running circle of different things on your mind. It's probably a lot of achievements and goals that you're trying to reach right now. And spirit is like enough is enough, okay? You can't achieve all of this in one time frame. Take bits by bits, okay? That's how you're going to be able to get everything you want and get under somebody that can show you some things, okay? Learn how to... Um, um take some advice take a step back right now spirit wants you to know let's see what else we got going on and you could be feeling like you just like really just coming home working same old same same routine um time after time i feel like you guys could be going through some type of um it could be either a reawakening or you guys could be going through some type of judgment and i feel like as usual a lot of this stuff stems from your childhood it's something that you probably been through as a, in a as a child and now you like having those emotions kind of like come back up in this um at this time and it, i understand what that feeling the lonely loneliness is like but just because you are alone doesn't mean that you need to feel alone so we're going to deep dive into this thing but that was just your pre-shuffle and now you see why i love to do it off camera because i can get a little chatter boxy okay but I'm not going to get into this read until we take the time out for all the people who just walked in. We're going to go ahead and say our greetings. Hey, how y'all doing? I know you're going to love it here. So just go ahead and continue to watch and make sure that you guys hit subscribe. Okay. This is how we join the church. Come on and join the church in the community. We are like-minded individuals who just want to spread good word and good positivity. Okay. By way of me reading tarot to you all. All right, so did you hit subscribe? Did you hit like? Because it's only one and then the other. And then now let's get into the read. Now, of course, I want you guys to please make sure that you're hitting the comments up and let me know how this energy resonates in your life. I feel like on some end, somebody could be dealing with some type of conflict or feeling like they need to win an argument. 
And I feel like when you get like this, or when you, when people in general have this kind of mindset of wanting to argue for the sake of arguing and just want to have the last word, um, and it could be dealing with something, dealing with work, or probably dealing with a bunch of women. When you get like this, that type of energy makes you hard over time. And it makes you the type of person that can't be um, penetrated by good things that the, that the universe, God source energy, this life has to bless you with because you're always scrutinizing it. Like, it ain't that good because last time I had something like that, it hurt my stomach. It ain't that good because last time I had something like that, it, my feet was hurting. It ain't that being in a relationship ain't that good because these men ain't S-H-I-T. When you get like this, you know, when you always want to have the last word or always feeling the need to complain or always want to point out the negative, it's going to breed on more of that. Especially if you are dealing with this type of energy at work and it involves a lot of women. I feel like it could be a lot of women, probably all after the same type of man type of thing. And he playing all y'all, you know what I'm saying? Or it could just be like, you know, you want to showcase your talent and you want to be the best at what it is you do. And now you're like putting yourself, like judging yourself and putting yourself against other, with other people. And spirit is like enough of that. Like when you get like this or when people, I keep saying you, I'm not singling out you towards people, okay? I'm saying like when we as people get into our emotional bag and we start like picking ourselves apart, then we have the tendency to do that to other people. And when you do that type of thing, or when we do that, because I'm guilty of that as well, it robs you of your joy of who you really are as a dope-ass person. Taurus, I know you guys to be, like, very fashionable, okay? Like, always wearing something very, very nice, very cute. I don't know one Taurus I've ever met in my life who is not dope AF, okay? On the outside, they look all put together very clean, very neat. They pay attention to detail. They're the people who are the most loyal. If y'all are friends, y'all are going to be friends for a long, 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 long time. And they genuinely, um, genuinely want to see you win. But behind closed doors, you could be feeling lonely and probably feeling like people don't support you or go as hard for you as you go for them. And that's really because you might be comparing yourself to other people or trying to, um, you know what I mean? Like comparing yourself, probably just, you know, feeling like you got to, oh, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and tell them this and I'm going to go ahead and do this and we're going to see about that. Like maybe life has made you feel hard and over time because things haven't worked out the way you wanted it to. But spirit is like you ain't nothing changing until somebody changes, okay? And the change that needs to occur is like you really need to go ahead and go within and get your mind right and appreciate how dope you are in real life. As I've always told y'all, okay, your mama told you first, and I'm going to say I'm your mama in this instance. I told you that you guys are dope for real, and you need to get under a teacher that can teach you to bring out even more of that. You know what I'm saying? So that you can eventually be the teacher who's going to teach other people exactly how to move in these type of spaces, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with that. I could go on and on and on into the break of dawn. But I, what I'm seeing here is you guys need to get back into your spiritual bag and get back to concentrating on um, what spirit has to say. So you could just kind of like live the best life that you want to live. As far as whatever is going on at work, if you've been feeling burdened all the way down at work and it's because of the women that's working there or y'all all after the same man, let that energy go, girl. Because like I said, if that's the case, he's playing all of y'all. But I mean, I just want to continue to give you guys hope that let you know like what is for you is for you and can't nobody take that away from you, not even you, okay? And now I'm dropping the mic. Make sure you guys did hit subscribe on your way out and like the video comment and let me know how this resonates in your life and like i always say until next time mwah!